not only does refraction bend the image downward, it also magnifies it. I'm going to say that again. Water causes refraction bending the image downward and magnifies it. So this is important now. So now, now back to another clip from that previous video. Let's entertain for a moment the completely absurd notion that water is flat and it always seeks its own level. We're looking across a flat plane of water, 46 miles across. Check this image out right here. Now I caught this image shortly after Rick and I returned from our trip across the lake. Uh, we grabbed a bite to eat and then we went out to the beach and it was still clear out so we got the camera out and looked 46 miles across the lake to see this right here. This image is extraordinary. Okay, The boat right here I'm gonna guess is less than a mile away and I base that because these people walking in front of the camera here are walking across some rocks that sort of jut out and, and kind of fence in the uh, harbor area and they are uh, only about a quarter of a mile away from where we were when I shot this. I shot this image from right about here. This is where we were uh, looking across and this is the area right here where those people were walking and the boat as you could tell uh, by the size of the people on the boat wasn't too much further beyond that so maybe a half mile to a mile or at the most I would say away from where we were. Alright now when I was headed back to Chicago to catch my flight I snapped this picture of the Willis Tower and this is if you go on Google Earth uh, this is right about the area right here where I believe I, I was when I took that picture. Looking across, it's only about 0.6 of a mile. So I'm just a little over a half mile away, and look at the size of the tower as compared to the car that was diagonally in front of me. We were looking at the Willis Tower from this direction right here when we were on the other side of the lake. Now, okay, so... Let me slide the car over and shrink it down to the appropriate scale beside the boat. Do you see something rather interesting here? This building is significantly magnified. The image on the left shows the size and scale of the building next to a car at 0.6 of a mile away. The image on the right shows the same building and the same car with a boat at 46 miles away. The atmosphere really is acting like a lens. What type of lens? A convex lens or a magnifying glass. And let's just go back and hear from the experts once again what's happening with the atmosphere. The science is the same of that of a lens. Here's a simple example. So if you're looking at at uh, Chicago here, just maybe you can, now you can just see the top of, uh, of the Sears Tower and if our simulated uh, temperature inversion moves into place. Hopefully now you can see all of, pretty much all of yeah, Chicago, see all the lower buildings. including including what's at ground level. So the atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. Again, based on that imagery that I saw looking 46 miles across versus 0.6 miles across, uh, I really do believe, that just like the experts said, the globalist guys, these, these are people who believe in the globe now. They are the ones that said, hey, the atmosphere really is acting like a lens. And they put a lens in front of the camera to show how it works. So I'm, I'm just doing what they're doing. I'm using the same logic they're, that they're using, the same science that they're using. And, uh, you know, science is all about uh, testable, observable, and repeatable data, right? So uh, to alleviate the problem of distorting the edges because the magnifying glass ring is too small. Uh, I went on Amazon and I got these um, uh, plastic magnifying sheets and came up with another way of doing the same thing uh, using the sheet right here. It set the city up, a little cut out of the city, and now I've got the big magnifying glass sheet. Bring the camera right up to the lens. See, that's the normal view of the city. Now let's back up again. The science is the same of that of a lens. Here's a simple example. So if you're looking at, 
at uh, Chicago here. The atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. Atmosphere really is acting like a lens. And this is how much of the city is missing due to the lensing effect, the magnification uh, of the atmosphere. You're, you're, you're missing you know, a good portion of the city just by pulling my iPhone back on a three foot long desk. That's how much I lost of the city. And as with uh, any scientific experiment, you always try to improve upon what you did before. So uh, I got some foam core, made a little housing for the uh, magnifying sheet, and pasted the city on the back there. And I made it as two separate pieces so that I could uh, flex it as necessary because I think that there are different types of atmospheric conditions that would al allow for more magnification versus less magnification. So in this scenario, you have more magnification and in this one you have less and for this one I decided to put the Toronto skyline into my little box here and let's try it again okay we're all the way up against the glass now let's zoom across the lake and wow look at that the lower portions start to disappear now let's zoom back in to get a little closer to the one that uh, Captain Baltard was talking about here and wow, look at this. Here's his image on the right, and here's my image on the left. Missing lower portions of the city had nothing to do with curvature whatsoever. And this, of course, is my answer to the meme that you've all seen being passed around on Facebook showing the missing part of buildings is absolute proof of the curve. No, not really. Make your own shirts, create signs, whatever it takes, you know, get out front of NASA. I still don't understand why I haven't seen a video posted here on YouTube of a bunch of people trying to get out in front of NASA and put some pressure on them. I don't even see that, you know, like handing back their globes and piling up about 10,000 globes on their lawn saying, here's your globe back. We don't believe it. You haven't proved it. We don't see 24-hour live footage of the Earth spinning in real time with the clouds moving. Time's up. Too much evidence pointing to the fact that we're not a spinning ball. Okay. So with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Who am I? I'm the unsilent majority, Big Mouth. Who? Huh? The unsilent majority. The unsilent majority. Why? I'm the unsilent majority, Big Mouth. Who? The unsilent majority. Who am I? I'm the unsilent majority, Big Mouth. Who? The unsilent majority. i
shining from